think that you know all my you know new sponsors and um, also the sponsors I've worked with in the past. Mm -hmm. I think the relationship with us is, is great because um, you know not only do they get promotion of their product, but I'm able to promote my sport. And what I'm really hoping is that through all these ad campaigns and all the things we're doing with the sponsors is that you know, people can see, you know, they will watch the Olympics and hopefully they see how interesting our sport is and hopefully they'll tune in on a more regular basis and start to watch, you know, the World Cup and World Championships and other things like that. So far I've already gotten a great response um, from, you know, how interested people are and, um, you know, the U.S. media and I think everyone is really um, interested in interested in something new maybe and I mean for me you know as I'm trying to be a good role model I'm trying to be you know um, someone that you know inspires hopefully inspires young kids because you know I remember myself being um, one of those kids and being inspired by people in the street so I think that that's what's appealing right now to um, the media and I think that that's really going to help promote our sport and um, but I think you know the last couple Olympics like the first Olympics for me in, in Salt Lake City I was 17 so I was just having fun and, you know, enjoying the moment. And the last Olympics in Torino, um, you know, were a bit disappointing. But at the same time, I think I learned a lot about myself, you know, having the crash and coming back and um, just really realizing how much I love ski racing. So all those things are coming into play this, this, this time around. And I, I hope that hopefully this time, you know, everything kind of comes together well and um, the stars align and I can, you know, have a good, good race and hopefully... Um, do a good job promoting our sport. I mean, I think the biggest difference between the past Olympics and, and this year is just that I've, I have a lot more experience. I have, uh, I'm more mature. I've, I've been around the World Cup for a long time now. Um, I've been to two Olympics. I have that experience. I've had the experience of the World Championships last year, and I, I know the feeling of having pressure and expectation um, put on me. So I feel prepared. It definitely is the, more, is the most prepared I've ever felt. Um, going into a big, um, big event, and hopefully that experience pays off. I think it will. For me, honestly, I've never won an Olympic medal, so I would be very, very happy with one medal, any color. I really, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, a lot of people are, you know, throwing all these numbers of how many medals I'm, you know, they think I'm going to win, and Honestly, anything can happen in ski racing. So I'm going to go out there every day. I'm going to try as hard as I can every single day and, and, of course, try to win. But if I get one bronze medal at the end of the day, I'm going to be very, very happy. I've been with these girls for a long time now, and you develop really good relationships, and you get to travel around the world. You you have so many great memories, and I think it builds character, and, um, you know, you really feel like you belong in a team, and... and I think that's the great thing about ski racing because it's not a team sport, but you still get the feeling and the benefits of, you know, having great friends and having a great team and we're constantly supporting each other and I think, you know, we, we feed off of each other and give each other confidence and, and therefore creates um, better results for everyone. Um, the Emmys were really fun. Uh, that was my first time going and, um, you know, there are a lot of really interesting people and um, a lot of great gowns and it was just a, a neat experience, you know, it's it's fun that I'm able to do things like that and, and meet people <laughs> that I never would normally meet, you know, and um, it's it was really fun. I had a great time. Well, I think that's the difference, you know, some people, if, if you have a lot of expectation, you can take it a lot of different ways. You can say, oh gosh, this is making me really, really nervous, or you can say, this is awesome, everyone's supporting me, I feel, you know, more confident in myself because of it, and that's kind of the position I'm taking, you know, I feel like especially in my hometown of Vail, everyone is just rallied behind me and so, so supportive, and that those are the memories that I take with me when I'm going to be in the starting gate in the Olympics, and know that people are behind me, and no matter what, even if I don't win, that they're going to still be happy with me at the end of the day, and, and so... That's definitely a, a motivating factor for me and, and makes me feel, you know, like people appreciate what I do and um, it, may, it might give me an edge over the competitors. I'm not quite sure, but I think it does.